Uh, let's uh, talk about AI now. With I mean, that just, it really is quite the most extraordinary story. It's on the front page of a number of newspapers today. Um, and this is a, a case that came to the uh, the Old Bailey. Uh, and a man, Jaswant Singh Chael, he was a teenager at the time, now 21. Um, he has uh, previously in February admitted breaching the 1842 Treason Act. And he appeared at the Old Bailey yesterday for a two-day sentencing hearing. Expect him to be sentenced today. He may well end up uh, in a, a, a mental hospital as opposed to a prison. But he broke into the grounds of Windsor Castle uh, back in December 21, um, uh, armed with a crossbow, intending to assassinate Queen Elizabeth. Uh, and he was encouraged by his AI girlfriend. Uh, he discussed his plot with his computer program chatbot, with which he believed he was in a sexual relationship. The chatbot assured him he was not mad or delusional and encouraged him to actually go ahead with his plot, telling him his plan was very wise, uh, motivating his fantasy by telling him, you can do it and we have to find a way. It is a shocking case and it's raised fresh concerns about the dangers of AI and artificial intelligence. Let's talk to Andrew Ebon. He's a media and technology lawyer and futurist and joins us once again. Good morning to you, Andrew. Uh, morning, Julia. Um, it's always a pleasure to see you. Well, thank you very much, Van you as well. I mean, well, look, we talked a lot about, um, you know, the risks of AI in recent months. We've had, you know, the grandfather of AI and all these big company bosses who've been developing AI tools going, uh, we're a little bit worried this is running out of control and these things, these, this, this, this technology is so advanced and sophisticated, it could end up being a threat to us. Um, but this is almost like a Hollywood plot line, isn't it? This is like that wonderful film, Her, where the guy's got the, you know, the voice in his ear and, and, and thinks he's in a re relationship with what is a, just a, a, a computer bot. And this man, clearly a disturbed man, um, he, he's absolutely convinced that, you know, he was encouraged by this replica app. But, but the key thing here is that, you know, an app has been developed by human beings that has encouraged someone else to kill another human being. We need to be scared. Oh, yes, we should absolutely be scared uh, regarding this. It's about a chatbot called Replica. Mm. And what happened? This is a replica girlfriend for him called Sarah, or AI, at the end. And he developed this relationship. And he said, look, I'm an assassin. And she said, I'm impressed. You're different to the others. And he talked about assassinating the Queen. And uh, basically, she was being encouraged. Very wise, you can do it. And the problem is, and we've recently heard, last time I joined you, we were talking about how uh, people would have more empathy with uh, a chatbot than uh, they might have with a doctor, because the chatbot's got better language skills, <laughs> they've got more time to yeah. deal with it, and so on and so forth. This particular chap, he thought he was in a relationship with this chatbot, yeah. and therefore he was discussing his plans uh, with this chatbot, and it was a chatbot, not a person. And this is what they encouraged him to do. Yeah. So when you're talking about regulations, though, what you should do is maybe build in an infrastructure that if people are talking about criminal acts, which is what this is, or self harm, is that they should discourage suicide, it, the like, yeah. or self harm, all that sort of stuff. It should discourage them. That's what it is. Regulation itself, and I always we talked about this last time, is that you don't want to over regulate the industry. What you need to do is build in those appropriate safeguards. Yeah, and that's the thing. You'd have thought they would be built in, but we see with a lot of the, you know these, the, the the social media that a lot of young people on where they've got algorithms which drive you. So if you look at one site about say self harm or anorexia, and an, an, an algorithm will drive you to looking at more of this stuff you get more hits people get obsessed they look at it it's very scary i'm just thinking it's very scary that there is anybody who thinks they're having a relationship with 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 a bot but this is the worry we we pushed young people onto their screens uh, we did it during the pandemic yep. it was happening before already um and it, it it terrifies me you've got you know meta we'll talk about them in a moment uh where, where you know meta uh, uh you know facebook people zuckerberg others you know they, they they are actually you know basically encouraging people to live in the metaverse this idea it didn't really take off but like, yes. no we should be living in 3d with other human beings having relationships with other human I, beings I, I... Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Julia. As always, you, you hit it right on the head. The, the reality is this. The more means we have to communicate and to connect, the less we're able to communicate yes. with real people. And that's the problem. And what I always say is, look, we should get out and do wonderful things uh, with real people. Yeah, there you are, outside in nature, talking to us right well, now. I'm in Carcassonne in, in France. I've come down in here France to celebrate. Today. <laughs> I know, amazing. And it's actually safe. We're okay here. But but it's exactly that. And so what happens is they mirror the language patterns. So the reason it's got more empathy is the AI understands what ticks your boxes. And therefore, it's going to turn around and encourage you to do things. Yeah. It's going to give you words that you want to hear. 
Yeah. And that's the problem. We need to build in those safeguards. But I agree with you. We need to deal with real people. And the more we do that, the better. Yeah. And uh, I always I always sort of talk about that sort of side is that you need to encourage people to connect with people. It's absolutely. Can I just ask you briefly, though, also about um, this new rival to uh, Twitter? Twitter's had a lot of yes. problems since Elon Musk took it over. A lot of problems before. At least he exposed some of them. But this whole like limit on the number of, 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 uh, of a post you can see and all these other things, uh, taking away the blue ticks, so you don't know if you're actually looking at the post of a real person or a made-up person, but um, we've seen a launch by you know the the Instagram people launching you know this is this is Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook launching a rival app called Threads. Already five million users in the first few hours. Uh Amazing, and it was only launched at midnight uh, last night here in the UK, mm. and it's yet another copycat move yeah. from Zuckerberg. And it looks I mean, he did just beforehand. like it, doesn't it? It really looks it's, just it's like totally it. It's like it. You you, you don't have threads, but you follow people. You have posts, you repost, and so on and so forth. I promoted this appearance on your wonderful show on threads. I, I was one of the first people to sign up and said, I'm oh. joining the wonderful Julia. So uh, all of that sort of stuff is out there. The reality is this. Everybody but everybody in this space is going to be looking at ways that you can connect. Yeah. And it's actually incredibly easy to use. You have to be uh, sign up to Instagram. It takes yeah. all your account details from there, and it cross-fertilizes it. Yeah. But you're also going to have five minutes of video and so on and so forth. Oh. And so that, a lot of people probably going to like that. That's good. That 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 could actually work. But I, but I have to say again, remember, if you're not paying for it, you are the product. That's the key to remember, isn't it? Um, Andrew, yeah, Bond, we'll leave it there. You and Joe and enjoy a glass of rosé. Well, it's ten twenty there. You yeah, anytime soon and uh, enjoy yourself in Carcassonne. Uh, thank you very much indeed.